Good afternoon. Welcome to Paddley Gorge again. I'm precariously balanced on a rock, ready to fall in at any minute. No filters, not even electronics this time. I'm proper, proper <laughs> on edge right now. So I'm going to do this bit quick and then find myself a bit of safety near the shore. So as you can see, I have brought out the Mamaya C3 again, uh, ready to do some film. Photography, I've got some Ilford FP4 in there just to uh, have a little bit of contrast. No, I haven't got Ilford out. I've got uh, Rolle, Rolly, Rolly, 400S. So I'm gonna have some nice bit of contrast on this one, hopefully. So, waffling. Nice bridge up there, as you can see in the back of the shot. And I'm just gonna frame this up as nice as I can. I might have to go lower just to get, either get this rock in, or I'm gonna have to come higher just to go over the top of the rock. I haven't composed this shot yet. So uh, let me crack on and do that. I've only come a little bit the other side of the bridge. I'm hoping you can hear me over this noise, but I've only just come a little bit further down. Uh, there's like three little waterfalls just here, um, which I think were just a little bit of a slowdown. We'll just add a little bit of motion blur. So I'm just gonna use the app, the light meter app that I've got. It's 60th of a second. Uh, F22 is about the best, it's just 15th of a second. So I'm just gonna set that up. 15, F22. Must remember to cop this thing. There we go, right. <laughs> I do love being on the edge of these things. So, uh, fingers crossed to see what we get. If you ever need more proof that money grows on trees, this is it. It's hundreds. 2p, 10p, old 2p there. Uh, some other coin. There's a fresh one there. There was 20 pence in there because I put it there last time. But yeah, all this full of coins. There's a few dotted around down here, but this one's the uh, most amazing one and I don't know how the people are getting them in because it's not like there's any big rocks to knock them in with so it's always quite amazing but do people actually bring a coin and a hammer <laughs> who knows but yeah it's amazing So now I'm going to do something completely different. <laughs> I said I was going to go to Surprise View, which is over the other side of the hill that's that way. I was driving down a different road and I took a left instead of a right. <laughs> so in taking that, I've come to somewhere else. I am now just below the whole of Stanage Edge. So behind me over there and that way as well is the strip of like cliff face that you can see as you're driving around all of this area. Um, but it's actually these trees behind me, which I'm more interested in. More so for the medium format, I think that'll be quite nice. Um, there might be something in there, just 
the big tall trees, I don't know. I've not seen it, so I don't know. I'm just merely guessing. But what I am right now is really happy because fern is my favorite plant. I love fern. I love lamp. I love lamp. Um, and it's everywhere. This is a, a sea of fern for as far as the eye can see. And um, I love it, I love it. So, I'm about to say let's go that way, but I've got to go that way to pick you up, to take you with me. So let's go. Frame my shot up here. Uh, I've got it ready to go, except the shutter, which has to be uh, two seconds. Mine doesn't have. Well, it does, but it doesn't work very well, so I'd rather not use it. So I've got to hold this ready to go for two seconds, <laughs> or thereabouts. So wish me luck. So uh, 1001, 1002. <laughs> Who knows? So in a first for me, I've come to the landslide side, which is this here, the landslide side of Mam Tor. I've never been down this side. Um, I've stood at the very, very top, just out of shot, but I've never actually come down to this bit. And this is where the, the landslide of the old road used to be. And that's where the collapse of Mam Tor, so you see all the layers and things. So I thought I'd come down here to get a shot. Uh, I don't think I can get a shot with this though. Uh, strangely, um, it's too big. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, to get a nice detailed shot, it's too too much. But I might do a panoramic. How? I hear you ask. Thank you for asking. Uh, it'll be a series, obviously, of shots, as you would with a panoramic stitch. But what it'll be is I'm going to have to try and sort of really line them up. Not in the sense that I think I'd be putting the shots together, it's just like a, ser a series of shots, but it would, if you put them side by side, it would look like a sort of panoramic. That makes sense? <sighs> Whatevs. Whatevs. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna, gonna go that side, but what I am going to do before I leave is I'm going to do a time-lapse of the clouds just whizzing by on that one, because that will look amazing. Yeah. So I'm going to, while the time-lapse is doing that, I'm going to have a scout around and see what I can find that's worth photographing and maybe the panoramic as I mentioned. So let me get cracking on and do that.
So I'm packing up, I'm going home, sun's in, time for me to go home, get all this footage in, get the photos edited, develop these photos, which I'm going to do tomorrow morning. So there may be a little mini montage of that at some point uh, and get them scanned. You'll have seen most of them photos already. If, big if, if they came out <laughs> at this point in time, I don't know. So if they've come out, yay. Uh, so that's it, going home. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for going along this journey with me today. Uh, if you're this first time here, click that uh, subscribe button, click the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, cheers.